Hello fellow earthlings, how are you doing today? It's a very special time in our lives, in our history at the moment. And I'm sitting here with my Neptune gong. I bought my Neptune gong at the beginning of the year before all the craziness kicked off. And I'm very glad I spent the money then because I don't think I'd be brave enough to spend the money now because we're all wondering what's going to happen next with the economy. And that's really what I'm here today to help us all with is this feeling of fear that's been rising up and that I feel we all could benefit from releasing and letting go of. Although the fear may be based on reality and based on truth that we've experienced in our past, it's being projected into our future and that's not necessarily going to be beneficial for us as we try and navigate through this process, through this experience to create the new world that we're trying to create together. Now everything's shifted. So Neptune, I wanted to explain to you a little bit about Neptune before I create the shamanic ceremony that we're going to do together today. And we're going to be doing a little, a mini shamanic ceremony. It's going to take us about 20, 25 minutes to do this process. And we're going to be using Neptune to help us during this process. Neptune, is, this gong is attuned to the planetary vibrations of Neptune. And Neptune is a very mystical planet. It helps us to tune into our hearts. It helps us to tune into our compassion and our sensitivity, as if we're not feeling sensitive enough already. What we really want to do though, is to tune into that compassion and that sensitivity so it's for our benefit and for the benefit of the whole planet. And that's happening generally. I can see that. I can see us all becoming much more compassionate towards each other and helping each other much more than ever before as a planet. It also, Neptune holds the visions of how things should be. And Neptune wants to help us to manifest these visions of how things should be and can be from our hearts, if we live from our hearts on planet Earth. And she's gonna help us today to step into our hearts and feel confident and feel strong and to let go of fear and to be more compassionate and more sensitive, but in a positive way that helps us be in alignment with what we wish to manifest in our lives and during our lives on planet Earth as Earthlings. So a little bit about Neptune has been explained. She is going to wash you with waves of energy. And these waves of energy are going to flow through every single cell of your body, every single corner of your mind. It might help if you want to lie down when we get started and put some headphones in and so that you can really get the full on sonic experience flowing through you and tuning into every single part of you. So to begin our ceremony today, the intention of our ceremony today is to cleanse away fear and to manifest love and to bring maybe a little vision for you, if if I can, uh, a little psychedelic experience where you might perceive a vision of maybe one step that you can take to step forward in your life right now because it can feel quite stuck when you're in lockdown, stuck at home, not really able to go out very much. And so maybe there's one step you can take, a very small step that we can start to step into the new way of being and create a better world for each other and ourselves. So before we start, I'm going to set up a little altar and the altar is already here behind me. It's already set up. I'm just going to light the candles and I'm going to give it a little offering. And so the four candles represent the four directions, north, south, east and west. And also on the altar, I've got lots of other little bits and pieces that represent the energies that I am welcoming in to us. And I think one of the most exciting things I have on my altar today, which was a gift from somebody uh, to, to sit on my altar for a while, is this amazing little piece of vine. This is an ayahuasca vine, and this is going to help us to vision today together. We're not eating it. We're just going to keep it on our altar. We'll leave that to the other, other shamans. And we have a little bit of sacred tobacco 
which I grew myself, so, and, and some do every day, and uh, gave thanks to every day that I grew it, so we're going to put this in the altar, and this is asking, this is like a gift of spirit, saying, please spirit, be kind to us, help us to manifest our dreams, help us to let go of our fear, so we're just, it's like taking your bottle of wine to a party, the altar, it's kind of like saying, here we are spirits, these are our gifts for you, we honour you, we respect you, we love you, and please be our friends, please work with us in ceremony today. And so the first thing we're going to do, if you want to get yourselves comfy, maybe you want to lie down or sit down, whatever it takes to get comfortable. And then maybe you want to put some headphones in. And then before we start using Neptune, the gong, we're going to say a little prayer. And I think of this prayer as a mindfulness practice where we tune into ourselves, but we also tune into the other things around us. And by tuning into the other things around us, we are becoming more sensitive again to the other layers of reality that we are connecting to and asking them to come and assist us. So the first element we tune into is the energy of the East. Beloved spirits of the East, we welcome you. We welcome the dawn and the new day. We welcome the rising sun and we welcome the birth of a new way of life and a new way of being. And we welcome our feathered friends, the eagle to the seagull. Please take our prayers to heaven on your wings today so that we may discover the dream. Beloved spirits of the south, we welcome you. We welcome the water and the flow of life. We welcome the day and the warmth of the noon sun. We welcome the passion within us and the people that we're becoming. And we welcome the spirits of all the water beings, the dolphin, the frog. Please help us to journey today without fear, to let go of our fear and to bring more joy and love and compassion into our life and our experience. Beloved spirits of the West, we welcome you. We welcome the earth and the fertility of life. We welcome the dusk and the setting sun. We welcome the people that we've already become and we welcome Bear, who teaches us now to close in, to look within, to discover a new dream. Beloved spirits of the North, we welcome you. We welcome the night and the bright moon shining. We welcome the air and clarity of right thought. We welcome our ancestors and we welcome the wisdom of the matrix. And we welcome the wolf who's gonna guide us home from our journey today so that we may discover the dream that we dare to dream. And then we connect up to the whole universe by asking Grandmother Moon to be with us, to watch over us and protect us. Grandfather Sun to watch over and protect us. We ask Mother Earth to be with us, to watch over us and protect us. We ask Father Sky and we thank him for wrapping his loving arms around Mother Earth and all her children. We thank the Star Nations as well for being with us today. And we thank Great Spirit. You have 10,000 names that are still unnameable. The divine creation force that flows through all things. We welcome you here today with us within our ceremony and ask for your guidance so that we may understand the path that we walk together. May we walk a path of beauty. This is now a good time to call in anyone else you want to call in. Call in a paranormal, call in a spirit guide that you might want to work with. I always call in Mama Cacao, the spirit guides of the Chamomile Clinic who assist me every day in my work. I like to call in the fairies of the land as well to make sure they're on my side. And I'd also today specifically like to thank all of the bacteria, all of the mushrooms, all of the yeasts and all of the viruses. Thank you for your path that we walk together. We are one. We are one earth organism all flowing together. Please be gentle with us, kind with us. Please let us work to keep with you in harmony. Okay, so now we've said our prayer. You can also invite anyone else you want to join in with your ceremony, an ancestor, a spirit guide, paranormal, plant spirit. And now it's time for us to focus in and journey. So we're going to be gonging now for about 15 minutes. And then at the end of the gong, I'll give you a couple of minutes silence time as well, where you can just tune in and call back the memories, the visions that you got during your journey, if you received any, any visions. So just let yourself go now, let yourself lie down, let yourself completely relax and just allow anything that comes into your mind just to 
just to explore it, journey with it, and let it go as quickly as it wishes to be let go of as well. And I'll call you back at the end. I'll see you soon.
Coming back into your body now fully, coming back into your consciousness fully. Bringing your energy back into your fingers, your toes, give them a little wiggle if it helps you to become aware again. 
where you are, what you're doing today. After we close our ceremony today, if you want to write anything down, draw anything that you saw, then please take a moment to do that because it may help you in the months to come, the years to come. If you have a shamanic or a spiritual journal that you work with, I find this very helpful. But for now, it's nearly time for us to say goodbye. So we're going to close our shamanic circle together now and blow out our candles together. And so first we're tuning into the energy of the East and we thank the energy of the East. Thank you so much, energy of the East, for your presence, for your divine light. Thank you to the energy of the South for the water and the flow of life. Thank you to the energy of the Earth for always supporting us and nourishing us. Thank you to the energy of the air and the North for bringing clarity and the new visions. Thank you to Mama Earth beneath us for holding us safe. Thank you to Father Sky above us for giving us our breath of life and protecting us from the vacuum of space. Thank you to Grandmother Moon. Thank you to Grandfather Sun. Thank you to the Star Nations and all our relations. Thank you to Great Spirit. You who have 10,000 names, you are still unnameable. And thank you to my spirit guides, to my paranormals. Thank you to the fairies, the bacteria, the mushrooms, the fungi, the molds, the viruses, the yeasts, all of the beings that make up our ecosystem. Some of them science hasn't even named yet. Thank you for being present. Thank you for being present. Couldn't have done it without you. And now we're going to go and blow over our candles together, out our candles together. And just like when we make a wish at a birthday party, when you blow out your candles, we're going to do the same here. Okay. Okay, so on the count of three, you can blow with me. I might do this in one go. One, two, three. <gasps> we go all good all done so we've closed we've closed our shamanic circle so everyone's gone from the party all the spirit guides have gone from the party they're still focusing their love and their energy and their healing on us they want earth to be the beautiful green goddess of the solar system that she wants to be and we're here to be her gardeners we're here to help her and assist her so that she can be the glorious gem in the sky that she wants to be so i hope you enjoyed today's ceremony i hope that you got something out of it and that your visions were clear and if you like this kind of thing then you can get in touch with me through the camomile clinic and you can come and have some private sessions with me or while we're in lockdown we can do this remotely as well or you can replay this and have your own little adventure by yourself for free anytime you want to so for now, I say goodbye and thank you.